Hi, I'm a McStackley Nerf, and this is my primary blaster. This is the blaster that I use for most wars. If I go to a war, I generally bring this and play with it most of the day. It is, this is, by the way, going to be a fairly quick overview, because it's fairly late at night and I'm not much for editing late into the night. I have a lot of work to tomorrow, so let's just proceed with the video. It's based around the Tactical Storm, the Busby, or I think it's Busby, Tactical Storm, which is a very nice blaster, actually. It had a weird top bit over here, so I cut it off and epoxied over the seam. Speaking of seams, you'll see this seam right here. Because when I did that, there was a screw post that I eliminated. So I'm going to go to the hardware store tomorrow to get like a bolt that goes through and closes that. The barrel was originally very long, so I shortened it. And there is, I'd say about um, a little under 10 inches of brass in it. And by the way, this was my first successful integration and my first real time using epoxy and my first time doing a brass breach. So I've gone through over the months. I've had this for a few months now. Those of you who follow my Instagram would know. I've gone in and upgraded stuff as I've learned new skills. This bit right here, it's from the stock of that Busby double barrel shotgun. This is a Maverick grip. The original grip wasn't too bad, especially for a Busby blaster, but it was a little bit cramped, so I put that there. This is a modulus stock I found on the thrift store. Reinforced it with a bit of PVC, and I put it on this thing from a broken nail biter I found, the stock attachment point and grafted it onto the original stock. Now, the original stock only extended out to here, so it was useless. And I like blasters with stocks. I feel like if you have a magazine-fed kind of pistol blaster without a stock, it has to be full auto and have a fi high fire rate. And this one isn't full auto and doesn't have a high fire rate, so I have to run it with the stock. It takes half dart magazines exclusively, and they just gravity drop in. Now, the, it's very sturdy because I put a lot of foam around it from old darts and just craft foam. So it won't go anywhere, but it, it'll say on the blaster when I'm using it. And the spring I'm using, it's from some rival spring I found. It was in my big bin of springs behind this curtain. I had this big shoebox full of spare parts and then another shoebox next to it full of springs, screws, and all sorts of metal bits. And yeah, that's the overview of this blaster. Oh, and minutes before I started this filming this video, I added an RGB light. This is from a glove, like a light up glove I got on New Year's at the Embarcadero in San Francisco uh, a few years ago. Which, by the way, that's a great marketing idea to have a glove that lights up when it's really cold and it's New Year's. Just thought I'd put that out there. But yeah, that's, that's my primary for those of you who are wondering what I'd usually run in the war. It has a pusher style breech. Originally, I made the breach with a piece of brass that I hadn't crimped the ends of, 17-30 and a bit of copper, like just copper tubing I pulled out of my seal, and we were replacing that bit anyway. But I've since replaced it with a proper pusher breach. I've crimped the ends of the 17-30 brass, and I've cut out a proper bit of 9-16ths.
and it's very consistent with the copper pusher breech. It sleeved into copper and I had to put a o an o-ring around the 17 30 seconds brass and by o-ring I mean a bit of electrical tape. It wasn't airtight at all and it barely shot and I couldn't shoot through a whole magazine without it jamming. Rough two shots real quick. And to show the quality of the air seal on this, originally it had a very bad air seal to say the least. It didn't seal at all. But now I've gone over all those places with hot glue and the air stays in there until I take my finger off and then you hear a little poof of air out. So yeah, that's my loadout. This is what I'd usually run in a war, probably with a dump pouch and maybe a secondary. I'm not really one to run secondaries. I like to keep my loadout light and simple. And to, well, if you like this type of content, make sure to like, subscribe, and maybe comment if you want.